getting ready, eh? What's up, Mitch? You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. About to move spots. You ain't, you ain't gonna get me off, dude. You want me to push it off? What up? Prick needs to hit the gym. Fuck you, dickhead. Ha ha ha. I wish y'all could see this. Fuck. Ha! <laughs> he just kicked. Go Man. Get that. I ain't getting your shoe. Fuck you, go get it. Hook it. He just kicked the shoe off. Hey, we've seen a couple. Actually, Prick seen them. I didn't get to see him. I wasn't watching. What? Hey, jump in the back. I'm gonna push this off here. See what? The takedown of them blues. Live on Facebook right now. <coughs> you worried about getting muddy, aren't you? No. <coughs> Second you try to push, dude, you fucking see. <coughs> <coughs> no shit. It's like Tom needs to hit the gym. <laughs> <laughs> shit. This is where reverse would be real good. No shit. We can't get standing on it, yo. What are you doing? Oh man, hopefully I got this thing locked in place here. We're about to roll out of here. <laughs> On the hunt. I need to see a blue cat takedown too, Mitch. Prick has seen them both today. How did my rod hold it through like that? What? How did my rod hold it through like that? The mow is ripping. I'm gonna just have, you want me to go right off that tree? I was gonna scan it, it's 12 feet here. Huh?
Spencer Bauer, what's going on? River Certified, check out his YouTube page. Just about to get posted up here, about to throw anchor. That's what we're working with. Looking at the graph, y'all. We didn't snag up anything here earlier, did we? Yeah. We want to be out farther. Or we want to go right here. It's 11 feet deep where we're rolling up now. We're on some slack water on the flat side of the Mo River. That's the non-channel side. Yeah, pitch it. Ha! <laughs> we don't kill nothing. I, I, I we, we'll kill it. We'll kill a bluegill for you. Stay watching. Chet, what's going on? How's Wisconsin, bud? All right, so we're done here now. So this is what we're looking at. We're sitting in about 10 feet of water, maybe 11 feet. Gonna get some of these fish. That's good, dude. Gonna get some fish moving up here and hopefully feeding on this flat. It's a crazy wing dike right there, you can see it. Isaac Duncan, that was harmed during the making of this. <laughs> a bluegill is a bait fish, bud. So we're using for bait. My wife, what's up? I'll show you all the bait cooler, one of them. Lots of freshly murdered stuff in there, Isaac. But we're gonna bust out the skips, I think. Rick, you're on camera, man. Say hi. He don't like to be on camera. So, hey, I want to show something to you guys here. Um, well, no, nah, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to show you this difference between skipjack and gold. I'm going to have to take that picture a little later. I need to get these baits out. But Fresh skipjack. with a blue cat size bait. Right there, good and bloody. Prick, he's flying to get his rods out while I'm out. Who's just trying to get his rods in the hot spots right now, man? That's the fastest I've seen him saw up a piece of bait all night, man. I hooked my skipjack through the nose. Oh shoot, sorry. I got you guys pointing the wrong way. There you go. I hooked my skipjack heads through the nose to leave the bait gap exposed. Murder blood, Isaac Duncan. But we don't keep catfish, man. We let them go. Pen Fathom. Non-level wine. Star drag. Great reel. Where are you at, prick? Back on them trees or no? 
There you go. All the way on them trees? Not really. You can get one on that side if you want. I'm going over top of you. Am I good there? Yeah. Hell yeah, Isaac, it is fun. Cody Gardner, or Cody Gardner, what's up, man? I heard you're defending that South Dakota State Barbecue Championship this year, man. Get him. Get him. Duncan, we're gonna cut his tail off, man. He's gonna die. Another nice bait. I miss fighting a lot, dude. Isaac, for sure, man. I wish I never would have quit that shit. Weekly. I probably think about that weekly. And there's times during those weeks where I think about that daily. Absolutely. Love you, my wife. Nick Brandt, what's up? Yeah, I love that gym life, man. That was fun. <laughs> I go... <laughs> yeah, I, should, I shouldn't have quit that. Marion Road was fun times, man. Look at that. Hey, I, I'm wearing a hollow point shirt. <laughs> They sponsored me for my last fight with Jace against Jason Brown when I pummeled and stitched him up. Carved his face up real good. You got live gill on this one or what? Yep. Okay. That was great though. I landed the single, my single favorite strike in any fight was landed in that fight, man. He was, uh, he kind of, I don't know, he was on top and I ended up, uh, I ended up kind of kicking out of that, kicking him, just kind of using butterfly guard to create some separation, man. And I was able to get onto my on, onto a good wrestling base, and he was kind of in on a double, so I sprawled out. No, and I watched that video, man. I didn't hit that dude in the back of the head either. I did not. I did hit him, boom, twelve to six elbow, two times maybe. Well, one time, and I elbowed his spine. Maybe, but I did not hit him. You keep turned his head into it, man, and you know that. I watched that tape recently. Prick, you seen it? That guy turned his head into it, my fist, didn't he? He said yes. <laughs> you got the rod view right there. No, no, I don't know. That was those, I mean, the punches to the head were clean. The elbows, I mean, whatever. It's, it is what it is. That's all right, we still won. Choked them out. <laughs> 
We did talk about that was the most awkward and fucking terrible restart ever. <laughs> oh, man. Like, no one even said go. <laughs> it was just fucking kind of... It, it was kind of like how you just kind of go into a roll, you know what I mean? Just kind of ease into it. Just ease into a good roll, man. That's kind of how it was. <laughs> Hopefully you can get one of those things to get slammed for you. Maybe I should sit down here like this so you can actually see it. I'm watching the comments so I can't see and it messes me up, but. Hey, I, I, I didn't mean to come at uh, that dark child guy. Is that his Richie Sells? I didn't mean to come at him like that the other day, man. <laughs> that was wrong. <laughs> but I'm glad you I'm glad you don't wear makeup though in your, in your, in your, as a wrestler. Like the eyeliner stuff. Like if you face paint like the warrior man, that's what's up. The savage gig, I dig the savage gig though. You should have been the savage the whole time. Hey, we might get You got live gill on you got live baits on two rods? No, that's a fucking stupid skip jack. I don't know how you hook that shit that it bounces like that. You can't get to not do it. My shit ain't bouncing, dude. No helicopter blades. I gotta put that bait away, y'all. Skipjack are so slimy and bloody. What's up? Where's everyone at tonight? What's going on? Anyone on the river? Anyone by a campfire? Anyone stomping people's heads? I seen Dave Mashad put it on it, dude. That was kind of sweet how that dude fell off fell off his back and he turned and ate that uppercut. Well, Mashad turned and that dude ate the uppercut. That was pretty sweet. Bummer for Jordan. Show you, oh, it's gone. Show you guys a little bit of the river perils we've faced. That was just hooked up in the anchor line. We ate, uh, oh my lord, this branch was massive. But we're out on the mighty Mo. I wish you were on the river too, dear. Big, fast, dangerous water right now. It's pushing, I think, like 90K. Which is high. High and fast is what that means, Isaac. It's about two feet from, you know, legitimate, well, official flood stage. Just the lowlands flood then, though. You know, I know there's a tournament up at Hamburg, but we haven't seen too many boats. Tonight, there was a tournament where we launched and... From what, the way it sounds, our day would have beaten everybody's there. We should have entered it. We only got two fish, but two fish is better than none. Oh, I need to do a chiropractor adjustment here. That was good. My wife, I need you to pop my back, man. Bad. Real bad. Sleeping on the boat will do that to you. So we had a great diet today, or this weekend. We got two today, Jeremy. 14, 14 and a half pound blue and a uh, 
I don't know, there's like seven. We didn't even weigh it. What was gross Duncan? Get home, you'll take care of what? What? I feel like I missed something here. Ha! <laughs> How do I miss something? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I know what you're talking about, why? Jeez. <laughs> Too much sun today. <laughs> Man, I tell you what, about that neck crack, Isaac. Uh, me... Bruce Hoyer and Chad Lamer went out to uh, Wisconsin when Chad fought Vitor Viana. And we, were at, we went to Flow MMA to grapple with Comprito. And at the time, Mike Russo was, you know, he was going, he was, I think he was just in the UFC. What's up, Cody? Hi, Jen. Uh, and Mike Russo was just getting into the UFC. And. God, they, I don't know what they were doing. We started doing uh, drill, drilling. He, I had, I was his partner for his drilling. And this dude is like two, like he cut. I bet he cut to two sixty five. He's huge, man. And I was a middleweight, you know. And one of the moves he was drilling was a goddamn can opener, man. Like seriously, what is this shit? You don't teach. I mean, you don't drill that shit. That shit you do to fucking people who you don't know that come in there and, you know, those dumbass wrestlers who will power double, you know, the guy, the, the lower level guys in the gym. You know what I'm talking about, man. But, yeah, and this dude, met, he jacked my neck all up, man. He, he absolutely, he, he jacked my neck all up. And... Lamer gave me a good, he said, and Lamer cracked my neck back at the hotel, free chiropractor adjustment, and he told me that there's nothing wrong with cracking your joints. See, I haven't been able to see a rod takedown all day, now if it happens, man, I'll catch it on camera. What's not a thing? The can opener? Absolutely, man. We're, dude, you can almost see it here, just like that. Hands around the back of your head, forearms on your chest, and you're just... Boom, popping that shit. You know what's up. There was, God damn, that kid from Sioux City, man. There was the one kid who always came up with them Sioux City guys. And fucking he did that shit. He was just a meathead, man. That's all he was was strong. Those guys are the worst ones to roll with, man. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm sure it doesn't, but... No, I didn't watch Storley, Storley's fight. I watched uh, Dave Mashad's fight. I watched Jordan Larson's fight. Bummer on Jordan. Dude, you know, that's... You know, they're... That's a bummer. But I seen he was in good spirits after it, which is all good. Good for him to be home, I'm sure. Paul Davids, what's up? Yeah, I did not watch Logan Storley. Yeah, they're terrible, Isaac. I hate guys like that, dude. They just want to, all they want to do is take you down and hold you there. And work for a stupid-ass Kimura. That's all they do. That's the only fucking move those strong guys got, dude. Take you down. Lay in fucking, lay in, basically they lay in guard because they can't do, they can't even pass fucking guard because they think that they can just muscle through the fucking, through a guard pass and that doesn't work. Oh God, I hate those people, man. I like guys where we can get into a good flow. I got no problem getting caught in a flow drill and tapping out, man. I just want a good roll, man. I just want a good roll. Lots of scrambling and transitions, man. <laughs> I don't want to lay and defend a fucking Kimura for five minutes. <laughs> I do not want to do that shit. <laughs> or those dicks who do the, uh, who do, who lock down 
from freaking <laughs> from half guard. Oh, I hate. Just come on, man. If you can't, I'm... oh, I hate that, man. I don't know if you remember uh, that kid. I don't remember his name, man. But he always came in. He'd come in with two twenty ounce cokes. When am I getting back in the cage? Shit, man. I'll never fight again, man, unfortunately. If I ever did get back into any type of... I mean, if if I went back into that lifestyle, man, the fight lifestyle, my place would be as a training partner, you know, as a, as a, as a training partner for some of them guys who are getting ready to fight, man. You know, I'd just be a body for them. That'd be that would be my goal my that would be my role <laughs> to get, get punched in the face by Devin Clark. That's not fun, but I'll tell you a story about that, man. Uh, back when I was I quit moonlighting in the gym, even dude. I don't even do that shit no more, man. I was on a kick where I would just show up every once in a while, and you know, and then I one night I was uh, I messed up my knee rolling with Ryan DeBolic. And that was pretty bad, but uh, yeah, for sure, Isaac. That's the way, you know. That's that's where it is, man. Unfortunately, I think I could still compete in like some of these smaller regional shows. I'm sure, no problem. But I got no. I don't have the time for that, man. Get too many catfish to fight. Oh yeah, I was telling you a story about Ryan or Devin Clark. I was I was sparring, man, and uh, that I can't remember this kid's name, but he was a little boxer. He trains with this boxer too, and he would come in there, and I had a good sparring go around with him, man, and he cracked my jaw real good. And after that round, I sat down, and you know, you know how when you're in a fight and you get the jaw crack and you can't bite down, like you know, like now I'm not gonna be able to chew shit for a fucking week. That, that happened to me, right? My jaw was jacked, out of line. Well, I sat out that round, and then my next round was with Devin Clark. And I don't know how the, trans, how, how the sequence of events happened, but all I know is that I think I missed a kick. I think I whiffed on an inside leg kick. And that dude's pretty explosive, man. And he just came in... I don't know what what kind of punch it was other than a hard one. And fucking, like, you know the old movies or the old TV shows, man, where it would just, like, when they would take a picture and it would just go poof! And you get the big bright flash, man. That's what my face did when fucking Devin hit me, man. Fucking that shit just flashed white. And I went stumbling back and staggered it up against the wall and, and thank God it was fucking sparring. Because I swear, if that was a fight, dude, he would have unleashed a barrage of punches that would have put my fucking lights out, man. It would have been bad after that, dude. But he knocked my jaw back in line, and I could eat, man. So I was like, dude, that is so sweet. I'd never had that happen before, man. Literally had my jaw cracked out of line and then had it cracked back in line with punches. It's <laughs> Lucky me, right? Yeah, I miss fighting. I've been to the new gym once. And I gassed out in boxing, but I, I, you know, grappling, I pretty much dominated everybody in the grappling regard that I rolled against. But I thought I like grappling, good grappling. I'd do, I'd do that, though. I'd compete. I'd do jits competitions. I'd be down for that. Trouble's just getting, you know, having, getting into the gym and scheduling it more than anything, really. How long will you sit here without a bite, prick? How long you get, man, this thing's, anyone know how long this shit's been going on? It's a nice facility, man. I wish I had that shit when I was doing it. How long has that been on? I don't know, I don't know. Anybody have a time on this thing? How long have I been on this stream? No, we haven't had any more bites. I want to see the catfish too. 
I want to see a catfish something terrible. We caught one in this spot earlier today. 30 minutes? Shit, man. We've been. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Almost 30 minutes. What's that? We've been here like 20 minutes. Yep. We've been in this spot about 20 minutes. We're going to give it about 15 more without a bite. What's up, Joey? Joey Julius, man, he used to fight. I don't know if you remember watching. He fought a few times, Isaac. You might have repped one. He fought John Aarons in Sioux Falls. We had a whole crew back in the day that was throwing the fist of cuffs. Shit, man. Solomon Carey was out there beating people up. Uh, the mosquitoes aren't bad tonight. They were terrible last night. Bugs were absolutely horrible last night. The mayflies are pretty bad, though. Lots of mayflies on the boat. And those things, when they die, man, they get all fucking sticky, dude. It sucks. Yeah, you did, but that's the way it goes sometimes, man. I got choked out in a fight or two. Hell, Shayna Baszler made me fucking drool in front of my wife the first time I went to Next Edge, man. <laughs> I was like, man, this chick ain't gonna beat me. I gotta rap. I gotta grapple a girl. What? Yeah. Fuck it. She choked me, dude. I didn't go unconscious, but I fucking, I got all fucking, I tingly, dude, and I was fucking drooling and shit, dude. <laughs> and, like, I, first person I see is my wife, fucking shit-eating grin, basically laughing me. <laughs> I ain't got no problem tapping out, man. Like I said, I just want a good roll. Yeah, it sucked. <laughs> I remember act over at Action MMA, too. I fucking knocked out Carlos Claudio with a head kick the fucking day before he fought. Uh... God, who was that? That kid from Omaha, the Army Combatives instructor. No, it wasn't Mary Road. It was, it was at Action MMA gym. Yeah, that was dumb of him for fucking... That was dumb of him for sparring that night, man. He ducked right into that, man. I didn't even throw it to the head, man. I threw it to the body. But he fucking came in with those stupid looping punches. Yeah, he ate that one right on the face, man. Oh, that was way back in the day, dude. <laughs> that was way back in the day. Dude, that was fucking... I bet you that was 2007? Because we moved into we moved to Sioux Falls in 2008. So, for surely, that was 2007, man. So that was 11 fucking years ago, man. That's crazy. It makes me feel old. Yeah, Carlos Jordan fight was real good, dude. A weird ending, though. It was weird, dude, how Carlos just rolled over and quit. He was on top of him, man. He just rolled over and quit. Fucking, that was a great fight. Yeah, Carlos gave up for sure, man. Ten years, man. God. I always said I was I was gonna fight until fucking I was I was gonna fight 
until I was 35. But you know, I read an interesting, you might be able to find this online, Duncan, and you, you'd find it interesting, I think. Um, I read, and, and this explains why, it's, this explains a lot of crazy discrepancies that you see in prime fighters, you know. Uh, how, how some guys are extremely young and are, you know, they're, they're shot fighters and then some guys come into their primes late. But there's this article that talked about a seven-year theory for mixed martial artists or combat sports in general. There's a seven-year theory that you can only be competitive for about seven years. It doesn't matter when you start. You can only be, like, it takes... I think they said three to five is at four year four or five are when you're in your most powerful, like most, most knowledge gaining years, but years four through seven, um, I just need to get a hit here, but, uh, anyway, years, years four through seven is supposed to be your MMA, MMA prime. Uh, but no matter what, it's seven total years of MMA uh, when you can compete at the highest, your highest abilities. Yeah, exactly, man. Guys like Couture who came to the game late. Think about the opposite end of the spectrum, Jake Ellenberger. Dudes who were, sh should have been entering their prime. Like Jake, you know, was in his prime in the first part of his, you know, as he came into the UFC. And he was like, he was young. And then he fucking just fell off at like, like 28, 29, maybe 30 years old, but that dude had like 40 fights. It was fight. I really, he was one of the first dudes that I seen fight back at the armory. But check it up or check it out. I'll look it. I'll try and find it too. But it's a pretty good read, man. That tells me that I fought for three years, and they said if you if you can separate those timelines, so I think that I could take these. You know what I mean? I take I take these I take these times off. My last fight was 2009, so I could take 10 years off, come back the game, and, and get back in it and be be productive based off those fucking those statistics. I'm shit. If I keep this thing rolling long enough, really. What, what, what tournament? Is that best of the best? <laughs> I wish his career would have played out different, man. That was, he's an exciting fighter, you know. It was fun watching him starch people, man. <laughs> I would say if we stream long enough, you'd get one, or we'd get one, but shit, we could have streamed all night last night and not got one. Like to see one of them play. You guys can see the moon up there in the background, hey? Nice little view there, huh? Probably gonna be losing light here pretty soon. Yeah, it's, no kidding. Uh, great minds think alike, Duncan. <laughs> I'll rock it until you guys can see it or can't see it. Randy Cooper! What's up? We got about everything thrown at these guys, man. There's no bait up there. I don't know if that's good or bad, but for the sake of this stream, we'll let it ride and continue, all right? What a 
we have up here a bit more. That channel swings up here that we fished earlier. We got these fucking inlets mm -hmm. in here, man, and I bet you. That's that ripping ass one, really. Yeah, but I don't know what it's like going into that shit, man. I mean, I guess. Just if, sit on the inside of it and hope something goes in there? Uh, no, I was thinking to go in there and maybe get some shad or some bait. We gotta tie a knot. We gotta tie a hook on. Yeah, Mitchell Grader, that's what's up. Cody Gardner, we are down past Omaha on the Missouri. Kind of around Hamburg. You shouldn't do this bad for your teeth. Sixty pound pen shock leader. Me and Prick are ready for an epic night, man. We're trying to give them something to talk about. I gotta find my headlamp. It is time for one. I'll show you, Mitchell. Is that scissors around here somewhere? Okay. No idea, man. I don't like biting these things, but how deep were it's about ten feet. I'm hoping so. Sweet. Like that. Yeah, I got tied this hook on here, man. Rocking with a 10-aught game of big cats. Nah. We don't need to find deeper water, Cody. Catfish only holding the deepest water in the winter, man. Mid depth, flats at night. Not, not 40, 50 feet. You won't catch me fishing that shit. John Foe, hey. Tying a hook, y'all.
Why do you like deeper water, Gardner? Yeah, but the James is a fucking crick. Hold on, Grader. Who wants to see my baits? <laughs> yeah, the, I mean, Jim River up around there, man, shit that averages fucking one to two feet deep. Fuck, man, you gotta paddle your boat back. We can't even float my boat backwards, dude. In good flow. <laughs> All right, Grader, I'll show you some baits here we got. I'm not reaching in there for you. Pile of baits. And then we got all kinds of baits in there. Cutting up slabs, yo. Slab bait. Yes, yeah, get out of here. We're bringing them up, y'all. I'm a goddamn headlamp. That'll piss me off. What the hell, man? Fuck. Can't find my headlamp, y'all. That's gay. I'm gonna throw that red and green in. Fuck. I 
No, I took that thing off this morning. I just threw it down, dude. Right on the fucking floor. Just checking the wheel. Huh? Checking the steering wheel. Fuck, I looked under there. Mine was on the ground. It looks like that one. Huh? Is that it? That's it. No shit. Where'd you find it? Under the fucking steering wheel. Fuck that. It's <laughs> rolled, man. We got some leaves and shit up in this bitch, man. Was my other light out? I don't know. Hold on. That was prick peeking in here. You guys see Nick? He don't get on the camera much. Get off my button! <laughs> we have a lot of line out on this one. Hopefully, see no fall out, eh? I left my home in Georgia, headed for the Frisco Bay. I got nothing to live for. Looks like nothing's gonna come my way So I'm gonna sit on the dock of a bay Watching the tide roll away We've Got a log on us I don't like being where we're at either right now with it like that, but we got a log hooked up. I'll try and get out more in the channel. Hey, we got two. Hey, what's going on, Calvin? I gotta get out here in the channel. My, I got something hooked up on my chair. Prick had it fucking tilted up. <laughs> I didn't do shit. I bet it works now. <laughs>
and give them something to talk about. fucking Gen 3 to load up. Dial-up connection. We need the carbon, man. You'll be doing some scanning here. Be on this end here, fucking swimming up. 
pile of fish over there, dude. Huh? There's fish over there, right there. That's a good one. You gotta go all the way to that point, check out the point? Yeah. That's a good one right there. <coughs> We're about batches in there. Thanks, babe. I think it looks pretty cool too. flat above the dike. Should we fish it or should we fish behind it? Let's give it a little more. I like this. I don't mind this shit right here we're seeing here. I'll get out a little bit here so we can get rods off. Dead flow, dude. We could, we could probably work up farther, eh? Gotta be careful that dike. We don't want to get too close to that dike. You know what I mean? It wasn't until after that point. Right at that point. This is a good spot, man. We were putzing this earlier today, weren't we? And then we can't come across those old ass dudes. Is that a line right there? What? Huh? What? Did he pull it on a set line there? We gotta tighten this up, man. You even make a bombing cast. Bait. Nice bully bully. I'm gonna give him the glazer treatment. Hook him in the mouth. I think if I turn this around, y'all can see better here. I 
I won't be able to see the comments, but. I don't know. It's just because of the way it's aimed, eh? So I was wrong. No, we're fishing for both. Gotta have some of them flatty baits out, though. Getting everything set up. <laughs> Helicopter blades. Helicopter. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that's funny. I just threw something else in, dude. I just grabbed it and threw it in. <laughs> you know what the fuck it was. <laughs> Quit to sit in the river top. <laughs> just go tell us in the river. Right, just grab it. <laughs> What's this? We don't need it. Even fish batch? Holy shit, prick's engaging. I don't think that fucker fishes, dude. Mosquitoes are bad. Yeah, they are. Isaac, you were asking about those mosquitoes, man. They're out now. Let's get some of those caramels. <laughs> Fucking carlin spray. Where's that carlin spray? Yeah, he put on a helicopter blade. My wife, love you. Are you one of them muskies? Now we're going with some cut jumper. Look at that helicopter blade. <laughs> Is that a helicopter? I guess I don't know what qualifies as a helicopter blade. Depends on if it spins or not. What's up? I don't, know. Find it, man. I don't know what he's looking for. It's not there no more. Hey, thanks, Match. He said mine was a nice clean cut. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone, Tom. What's gone? It's not behind the finder. Huh? The fucking finder's gone, man. Oh, it's in, in there. But yeah, we're gonna bounce out now, guys. Getting posted up, gonna stick them. Peace, guys. Thanks for watching.